good evening or good morning, whatever time it is. Uh, we are heading out of Toronto on one of the many main veins that lead from the city out. We are now going west towards a little town called Girafraxa. This would be a town or an area. It's just outside Orangeville. Um, I'm gonna go up, do some shooting. Maybe give you guys a couple tips on uh, traditional archery, shooting instinctively, stuff like that. Uh, yeah, so we're just gonna head up here. It's gonna be about an hour and a bit. I'll let you guys know when we get there and now we'll get started. Got some rain clouds moving in, but I highly doubt that's gonna stop us. Unless, of course, it's torrential downpour. Hey guys, it's Talon. We finally got here after a little bit of a drive. Looks like the rain actually passed us over. I got my Bear Montana longbow. I'm trying out these uh, carbon fiber shafts. Been liking the way they shoot. Hopefully you can come along and uh, enjoy the ride. Locked some of our targets in the barn, so I gotta slip through the floor. Okay, so I got some foam targets in the barn here. The turkey vultures are back. There is many, many ways to shoot instinctive. There's really no right or wrong way as long as you're not pulling your back muscles or your shoulders. So the most important thing is warming up. Always warm up because you're not doing this too much with your shoulder besides when you're getting out into the woods and shooting. Another thing is anchor points. I think that people spend a lot of time trying to worry about correcting their anchor point trying to see where the flaws are with it. There really is no right or wrong way. I know some people will agree, some people will disagree. I don't really focus on form at all because when I'm shooting, it's all in the moment, instinctive completely. All I do is stare at the target. I don't worry about anything else. And that's all you have to do. You draw your bow back, you look at the target. Really good brain food is also uh, shooting at moving targets because then you have no time to think about it and that's what instinctive archery is all about. Volleyball between two trees. Okay, so one of the best ways to practice traditional and instinctive archery is shooting at tree stumps. And the reason why I like this guy right here, it's what they call a judo point or a clasp head or a small game head, is it has these little wire arms that will catch grass and it also doesn't get as stuck in tree stumps. So when you're shooting stumps, you're eventually gonna run into shit like this where it's stuck. 
you never want to yank them out because if you do and you start twisting them you're going to break your arrow so the best thing is to always carry a knife with you and use this knife to just sort of carve away around this part and get your arrow out that way you won't lose your really expensive arrow because we all know arrows are really expensive Thanks for tuning into the Weekend Warriors channel. I hope you had a good time. I had a great time. It's been a great day. We got a lot of shooting in. If you like what you saw, keep posted. Keep checking into the channel and hopefully there'll be a lot more stuff to come.